name is Mike Johnson. I'm a parishioner of Sacred Heart Parish and St. Catherine's Parish. The first Northern Arizona Citizenship Day is going to take place on Saturday, October 15th, 2011. It's going to happen at the gym, inside the gymnasium of Sacred Heart School, right off downtown Prescott. It'll open up at 9 a.m. Our first appointment begins at 9 a.m. and we intend to close by 4 o'clock. A person can make an appointment, any interested legal permanent resident can call the number 445-3141 and ask for extension 323. They need to gather a lot of documents, important documents, have that together when they arrive for their appointment. At Mass, pretty regularly, we pray our intercessory prayers for respect of all life and the dignity of the human person. And that respect of all life is from conception to natural death. But there's a lot in between. And part of that is just the day-to-day -day work that we all do. We've developed the Citizenship Day as a project to help those who maybe haven't felt that respect for life, that care, and that dignity. Citizenship Day project is intended to help individuals who are in the United States and in particular our area of Arizona, Prescott, and all regions around us who have legal status in the United States. These individuals have their legal permanent resident card, which is commonly referred to as the green card. So that's who we're really focusing on right now are those individuals who have legal status in the U.S. and wish to become U.S. citizens. We have learned of situations where people have been uh, fraudulently stolen from through the internet, through fake internet sites that were supposed to be sites for citizenship through the government. They were not. We've had situations where people have paid others who have had experience in helping people get through the application process, charging them enormous amounts of money. I mean, I've been told anywhere from $2,000 to $10,000 per person to help get the process done with no guarantee that they're going to be able to get that done. You know, I, had, I have to share a story. I had one applicant come to me who just learned about the project and he says to me, do you think I could fit into this project? Do you think you could help me? And I looked at him because I've known this man for a number of years. He's Anglo. And I looked at him and I said, you're not a citizen? And he said, no. As it turned out, he was born in Bogota, Colombia. His father had business in Colombia. They immigrated to the United States and built more businesses in the United States. Well, he was two years old when they moved to the United States. And ever since, he's 50-something years old now. He's had a green card. And he's decided with this project that it's time for him to take advantage of this. He's, he's an American by all standards. He's come through the system, come through all the education, and, you know, his family is here. And he's got his green card. He's had it for about 50 years. So he's just decided because also his siblings have all achieved their citizenship, but they gave him a lot of information about how hard it is and how expensive it is. And when he learned what we were doing here, we've taken the difficulties out of it. We've taken the great expense out of it by coming together as, as a family, coming together as neighbors to help each other and to help individuals just like that. It's just fantastic. We're rather unique. This effort is a faith-based effort. This is coming from the teachings of the Catholic Church, and we're embracing that teaching and putting it into action. And we're finding brothers and sisters from other faith communities who wish to be a part and help with this. They believe in it also. And so there's, there's no agenda other than to help our brother, to help our neighbor. Uh, sometimes in other areas when they do these projects, it's from a political perspective. It's from one ideology or another. That's not us. It's about life.
It's about what we can do as good Catholics, good Christians in our community caring for one another.